What's going on YouTube, GSM right here. So in today's video, we're discussing the latest updates for Troll Store 2. The application has been heavily updated in the past couple of hours, so there's a lot to talk about. But first, if you have Troll Store 2, you should definitely go ahead and update it right now. From the initial version 2.0, there have been quite a lot of changes. We're gonna get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare for you key, a software that allows to unlock the iOS screen passcode if you forgot your passcode and stuff like that. Or if you accidentally set up one, you can remove the screen time passcode code, manage the password stored on the device, bypass MDM, and even remove Apple ID. Check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. iOS 17 is supported and it supports a variety of methods, including for devices that are in iPhone is disabled mode or security lockout, and even iPhone is unavailable. Check it out below. So you probably remember Troll Store 2 was released a couple of hours ago with version 2.0, which supports iOS 15.5 all the way up to iOS 16.6.1 and iOS 17.0. Now, not all of these versions can install it at the moment because they lack an installation method. However, the app itself is updated because the bug, a core trust bug that is used inside, is actually compatible with those versions. Opa334 has been hard at work with the updates because right now we're at the version 2.0.7, which includes quite a lot of changes. So yes, we got about seven updates in that span. So the 2.0.7, 0.6, 0 0.5, there are quite a lot of them in here, each one fixing other issues. Definitely up update to version 2.0.7 at this point. And the latest change log is the fact that it restores support for apps that have the com.apple.privatesecurity no sandbox entitlement, which got broken in 2.0.6 apparently for dopamine, troll speed, whatever. Then in version 2.0.6, we got fix only installed apps getting the same data container. Apps installed with troll store 2.0 to 2.0.5 need to be reinstalled for this to be fixed. Synchronization for the latest UI cache changes from Procursus and had one additional bug fix and fix some more UI cache inaccuracies with data containers that I only noticed now due to the new data container fix. So there are a lot of uh, fixes over here. If you go ahead on the change log, you can see exactly what has changed. But by now, Troll Store 2 should be pretty usable and pretty stable to use, especially on the iOS 16.1.2 and lower because you have the Misaka installation method. Now I do have a full tutorial here on my website on how to install Troll Store 2, especially on iOS 16.1.2 and lower with Misaka because Misaka has been updated to actually support installation of Troll Store 2 directly from the app. However, you should know that it's not the best method in the world. Misaka tends to be a little bit hit and miss with this um, installation. It may reboot your device a couple of times before it works. It may show some errors from time to time. You're just gonna have to get your hands dirty and try to actually fix the errors as they come. But this is the full guide over here on how to install Troll Store 2. Now, what Troll Store 2 is, in a nutshell, you can install with Troll Store 2 any application in IPA format, and you can install it directly on the phone. You don't have to sideload it with Sideloadly or anything like that. And once installed, that application stays on your device permanently until you delete it. No revokes, and of course, no seven days re-signing and stuff like that. You can install a jailbreak, for example, Dopamine, and it will stay signed forever. So that's actually nice, and they do persist after a reboot. You don't have to be in any jailbroken mode for this to work. Just have to have Troll Store 2 installed. So yeah, there are a lot of updates available. Go ahead and get the latest. Always check them on the Troll Store repo on the releases tab over here. Because as you can see, we do get quite a lot of updates and uh, you should always use the latest version because there are still bugs being found. So thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.